receive only one chapter, one book of the New Testament as Revelation 19. There's four different times in that chapter, four different contexts of the Lord's second coming. And so, in light of that, I think it's appropriate that Rachel asked me to read as part of our vacation the two passages from the book of Revelation. So I'd like to do that now. And before I read them, uh, I want us to claim the promise of what it says at the very beginning of this book, where it says, those who read aloud these words, those who hear these words aloud of this prophecy in this book are blessed. So a prayer that we are blessed by these words. So this is from Revelation chapter 1, verse 12 through 16. Then I turned to see the voice that was speaking to me. And on turning, I saw seven golden lampstands. And in the midst of the lampstands, one like a son of man, clothed with a long robe and with a golden sash around his chest. The hairs of his head were white, like white wool, like snow. His eyes were like flame of fire. His feet were like burnished bronze. And his voice was like the roar of many waters. In his right hand he held seven stars. From his mouth came a sharp two edged sword, and his face was like the sun shining in full splendor. From Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Rachel has expressed uh, a desire for every part of tonight's recital to not just be a performance, but a reflection and a symbol of a heart and life of worship for the Lord. And she says the following quote, I want my music to be a reflection of the Lord's beauty. I am simply a vessel for So let us pray and commit this evening to the Lord uh, with that name in mind, both for Rachel and for us as we participate on her tonight before the Lord. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this evening. Thank you for this hour that we are about to participate in, to enjoy the wonderful gift of music you've given us. Father, thank you for the reminder of your goodness and your grace and abundant mercy, people that you place in our lives. From family, friends, um, peers, teachers, Father, you place people in our lives um, as a blessing. And so we give you thanksgiving for that, and all the people represented uh, here in the audience and those watching online. In Rachel's life, we thank you for them. Thank you for Rachel for leading her to Moody these past five years of um, study, the blessing she has been to many around her here. And Father, we give this recital to you. May her claim be a blessing to all of us here, but most of all, may bless her name. Thank you for a glimpse of hearing in Rachel's heart that she desires to present this recital as an act of worship to you before the heavenly throne, before the mighty image and voice and who Jesus is sitting on the right hand of God. So thank you for your word, thank you for that reminder this evening, and we give this time to you, including the time of fellowship that we look forward to afterwards. In Jesus' name we pray.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 